You know, the body does not know cuisine. The body doesn't see when you're putting food in it. These amazingly descriptive, delicious sounding meals in restaurants on menus. You know how they pretty the dish up? It's not just a garnish, but they have all these coatings and layers and colors and they call them creative names with all these wonderful adjectives. It's food, people. All right, restaurants are in the business to make money. They're in the business of separating your wallet from you. They are. So they come up with creative ways to make food, to sell food, to present food. But what is food? Food should be just nutrition. It should be protein, which comes from amino acids, and it should be healthy fats, which come from animal products only no vegetable seed oils, no seed oils of any kind. And with that comes the fat soluble vitamins and the water soluble vitamins and all of the minerals, including electrolytes that your body needs. That's all that your body sees. Your body sees carbohydrates, fat, protein, vitamins, and minerals. Your body doesn't see the fancy name on that menu. Your body doesn't see whatever they're calling it. They see protein, fat, carbs, vitamins, and minerals. Keep that in mind the next time you're tempted to try something because of their adjectives that they used to describe this amazing food on this menu in this restaurant that you see people eating. It's just food, people. And a lot of times they're using the cheapest oils, seed oils. They're using the cheapest ingredients, but they're prettying it up. They're dolling up the food with a fancy plate and nice utensils and a nice table with a beautiful ambiance and the music and all that stuff. And then they're charging you a lot of money. It's just food, people. And it's probably not healthy food. And if you're getting something healthy, here's how I order when I have to be in a restaurant. I don't even go that much anymore. But you know, when I'm meeting with friends, taking somebody out to dinner for their birthday, uh, you know, you, where do you go? You meet at a place to eat. So I'm, you know, I don't look forward to it anymore, but I go, I have my shtick and I have my discussion with the server. And oftentimes the cook has to come out to talk to me because I'm a real pain in the neck in a restaurant. I am. Hi there. Yes, I have a food allergy to vegetable oil. See, they don't know what a seed oil is. They don't know. They know the phrase vegetable oil, and they know that that's the stuff they spray on the grill or they wipe on the steak. So I, I have to speak in their language. I can't say seed oil, and they'll understand that I mean canola, corn oil, soybean oil, safflower oil, sunflower oil, uh, Crisco, margarine, rice bran oil. They don't know that. So you have to talk on their level. So please do not, I'm gonna get the ribeye. I'd like to have it rare, please. And I would like you to tell the cook not to wipe vegetable oil on the grill when they cook my ribeye and not on the steak. And was the steak marinated in any oil before you cooked it? And most times, because I ask those questions and I use the word allergy, their hackles go up. Because if I have an allergy, I could die. Now, I'm not going to die if I eat seed oils right away, but they don't know that. So most times, I would say 90, maybe 85% of the time, a cook or the manager walks out to the table and says, who here has the allergy? I say, it's me. And they want clarification. And they will often tell me they will cook my, my ribeye in a separate pan because the grill has seed oil on it. And, they will, and, I, and I have to confirm, did they rub vegetable oil on the steak? No? Okay. And if they ask what they can use, I tell them they can use real dairy butter. Not a blend, but not like whipped butter is mostly, you know, butter mixed with canola oil. Real dairy butter or don't use anything at all. And they often come back and say, oh, okay, well, we have um, safflower oil. Is that okay? No. Well, we can use uh, olive oil. Is that okay? No. Now, you know, olive oil is not the same as those terrible vegetable seed oils, but I don't trust it because it's cheap olive oil. I don't know how long they've had it. I don't know if it's been out in the sunlight in the, in the clear glass bottle or if it's in a plastic bottle. I want nothing, just the fat that's coming out of the meat when they cook it. And I want it rare because by the time it comes to my table, it's still cooking and it sits there 
and I cut into it, it's usually medium rare or it's between rare and medium rare, which is exactly how I like it. I bring a little thing of ghee, I open it up, and I rub ghee all over my steak. I bring my little thing of Redmond Real Salt, and I sprinkle it, and I go to town. And of course, I'm paying ridiculous price for this. You know, I'm paying $40 where I could have got a ribeye at the store, probably a bigger one, cook it on my grill, make it taste better, know it's safe, and I only paid, you know, $12 to $15 for my ribeye if it's a big, thick piece, right? But, you know, what are you going to do? You're taking your friend out to lunch, and that's what you do. So please remember, folks, the body sees what the body sees, and it sees protein, fat, and carbohydrates. And forget the fancy names. Forget the fancy stuff in the restaurants. You know that's true. You know what reality is. And don't be fooled. If you want to spend the money for something delicious, great. Just go in fully aware what you're getting. And I recommend that you, uh, you know, don't get the vegetables and don't get the sauces and just eat the steak. Just eat the hamburger. Just eat the fish. Ladies and gentlemen, eat well, whether you're at home or in a restaurant, and you will look and feel well. And then you'll be living your optimized life. And have a good day.